How to fix unable to add or delete eSIM or eSIM filler on the iPhone iOS 18. Now there are a number of things that you could try. First, make sure you check your carrier compatibility. Now ensure your carrier supports eSIM and it is compatible with iOS 18. Some carriers may have a specific requirements for eSIM activation, like software versions or special codes. So you want to contact your carrier to verify support and activation details. The next thing that you can try is to restart your iPhone. So here, press on the side button and the volume up button, and then simply swipe across like this, and then allow the phone to switch off. After that, press and hold on the side button to turn on your phone. This will allow the phone to restart. So here, I'll just wait. So if you press and hold on the phone and it's not restarting, that is because it is still switching off. So just wait for a few moments. A simple restart can sometimes solve temporary software glitches that may be preventing eSIM activation. So here I'll log back in to my home screen. If that still doesn't work, what you can do is try to update your iOS to the latest version so that it is compatible with your network carrier. So go into settings. And then we go down and tap on general, then tap on software update. And if there is a newer version, make sure you update now and just wait for the update to finish. Another thing that you can do is try to reset network settings. So go into settings, go back to the main settings page, and then we go down to general and then scroll down to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then we go down and tap on reset. In here, you want to tap on reset network settings. And then enter in your phone passcode to begin. And then enter it in again. So enter your screen time passcode. After it will begin to reset your network settings. So give that a try and see how you go. If that still doesn't work, then you may need to remove and re-add your eSIM. So in here, we go into settings. And then I'm going to go down and tap on cellular. Then in here, you want to select your cellular plan. And in cellular, if you scroll down, there is an, a section for eSIM. If you do have an eSIM in here, you can tap on that eSIM. And then there is a menu button where you can tap on the remove button to remove your eSIM or your cellular plan. So give that a try. And after that, after you have removed your eSIM, you can try to add it back in again. So tap on the add eSIM here. And you can, so once you tap on add eSIM, you can try to scan for the QR code, or you can manually enter in the, the code that is provided from your uh, network. So here we can choose use QR code. And if you don't have a QR code, you go down and tap on enter details manually. And from here, you can manually enter in the activation code and confirmation code and your address. So the easiest way is to scan QR code. Most of the provider will allow you to use QR code to add in an eSIM. So give that a try. If you are still unsuccessful, you can try to simply turn on airplane mode and then switch it off from your control center here. So sometimes even a simple toggling airplane mode on and off can help fix the problem. Okay, so if everything else uh, fails, you can try to contact your network carrier for support. So if the issue still persists, your carrier's eSIM activation system may be experiencing problems, you want to double check with them. Uh, contact your carrier's customer support for help uh, with activating or deleting the eSIM they may need to perform troubleshooting from their end. Okay, and that's it. Hopefully you can fix your eSIM problem and you can add your eSIM to your iPhone running iOS 18. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.